Hey ladies, welcome to your 21 day fitness, health, and life group. My name's Brittany, I think everybody should know that. Um, I'll either be running this group alone or typically I have some other coaches and their challengers in too. So um, if I'm not your coach, welcome. My name's Brittany and um, we're so excited to get started with the group. I always like to make a video just to give everybody a little bit of background info on the way things are going to work and um, yeah, just to kind of get you guys cleared on a few things so no one's confused. I know that if you've never done one of these groups, sometimes it can be a little bit overwhelming and I want to try to avoid that. So. Um, I'm posting, I usually post this on Friday, and I've also posted probably a bunch of different meal plans to the file section. Um, you're going to just kind of go through the meal plans, pick one that you think is, you know, suits you and suits your tastes. I typically recommend that people, for people who want to kickstart your weight loss to start with a three-day cleanse. Um, I'm also working on a three-day vegan cleanse menu, and that one's awesome to start with, too. Either way, you kind of get going, uh, you get your body cleaned out, and you... Um, get a kickstart, you know, uh, getting some LBs down on the scale, which I know is really motivating and can kind of get you building that momentum up to um, keep going with the plan. So, um, yeah, other than that, for people who, um, just to give you a little bit of information on the, the meal plans, if you want to drop weight faster, I always recommend doing one of the grain-free meal plans. Um, or if you aren't ready to jump into grain free and you don't mind um, losing just at a regular pace, then I would say pick any of the variety, the crock pot. We've got Mexican. Um, I'm working on a vegan, so we've got tons of options for everybody. The way the group's going to work is, um, you know, I'm a challenger and I'm a coach. I want this group to be a place where we can, you know, provide support for each other. Um, Every day, I always like to do things on a point system to get people participating because that makes it more fun. Every day, you're going to get um, two points for posting a post-workout picture and one point for posting a picture of your Shakeology or a meal picture. Um, starting in the second week, we're going to add a, um, something additional to do for points, and then whoever has the most points at the end will win a prize from me. Other than that, um, I'm trying to think. Yes, I okay. Um checking in. Checking in, you're going to check into the group whenever it's convenient for you, once a day, twice a day, however much you want to check in, however much you need to check in to be accountable. Um, you're going to add in your 30 minutes of exercise a day, again, when it's convenient for you. This group is all about um, making things as convenient for you as possible, and that's one of the awesome things of Facebook is, you know, you can provide yourself this group support. You're doing it with other women. Um, and the final thing that I want to talk about is this new twist that we're putting on the groups, which I think is amazing. Um, most of the real lasting change that has happened in my life is a direct result of all the personal development books that I've read. And before I read a personal development book, I was pretty much like, um, I don't need personal development. Like, I'm pretty developed, I think, as a person. But um, everybody can benefit from these books. Like, we are all works in progress. You're never going to be perfect. You can always um, listen to, I mean, these people who write these books, they're not like, you know, they clearly are doing something right, and they have stuff that they can share with you. On just <clears throat> honestly, it's just your outlook on life, um, how to be more positive, how to get the things that you want in this life, how to be happy, to love, to live, um, and to just bring all the things that you want into your life into your life. So. Um, Anybody who wants to add in a personal development book, really, honestly, the easiest way to do this is to go to Audible. Um, you can download um, audiobooks right to your phone, which is amazing. I, I literally don't drive in the car without listening to an audiobook. I put those hours to work for me to, to grow as a person. Um, and you're just sitting there anyway, so you might as well, um, you might as well, you know, do something productive, right? Um, and yeah, you could actually sign up for a 30-day free trial of it and download some books and then if you don't want it, you can just cancel it, so you'll get them for free. I typically recommend people starting with either You Are a Badass by Jen Sincero or The Compound Effect by Darren Hardy. Um, but you can reach out to me, and I can kind of just get some info on, like, what your what your goals are and um, just your personality in general and can help recommend a book for you. So, glad that everybody's here. Let's have an amazing group. Um, check in daily. Commit to the plan. I will... Um, I'm posting a target calculation that will kind of tell you what 
calorie range you're in, but here's the thing with this. I typically tell people to follow the plan as is. I mean, still figure out what your calorie range is so you can see where you fall um, on the target calorie bracket. But, um, you know, in the beginning I was noticing people were telling me I'm not hungry, I can't eat all this food that it's telling me to eat. And I want you to learn to listen to your body in this group. I don't want you to learn to eat food just because you have portions that a plan says you can eat. So I always tell everybody to follow the plan as is. The plans are created based on the 1200 to the 1499 calorie range. So um, I typically tell people to follow that, but then if they fall on one of the higher calorie brackets and you're hungry after you know you after you're getting your portions up as the on the plan as is, if you're still hungry later, know that you have extra portions that you can add in. Again, you want to listen to your body. You don't want to stuff yourself. You want to learn to eat when hungry, stop when comfortably full, you know, satisfied but not stuffed. Um, yeah, I'm just a big believer on, you know, learning to listen to your internal cues, and this is something that I'm still working on. I used to be like a total mega overeater, um, just want to eat tons of food, and I found out that I was... It was my mind that was hungry and not my body. So I'm still working on that. So um, I think that's it for now. Anybody have any questions, post them to the wall. Let's have an amazing group. Can't wait to get started with you ladies. Happy to have everybody here. Um, I'll be back with another video soon. Okay, bye guys.